Hello class. This video is to show you how to do the graphing and what to do with the graph once you've made it for the blood plasma level lab. So I've downloaded last semester's results. This is the results for glucose. This is the results for cholesterol. This is the results for protein. You're going to make three graphs. One graph for glucose, one graph for cholesterol, and one graph for protein. You can't put them on the same one because this is grams per deciliter. These two are milligrams, so it will not work. Please give me three separate graphs. I'll show you how to make the graph for glucose, and it'll be up to you to make these on your own. You also do need to create one for glucose for me since these are last year's results. Now, secondly, there's two groups of data. Two groups did the experiment. Now, the concentrations are both off by about nine. Now the difference is this one was a higher concentration for unknown one, this one was the higher concentration for unknown two. That means I probably don't want to average my results. I, especially since my absorptions are so far off. So what I'm going to do instead is just let you choose which group to do. So I'm going to choose to do this group. Now down here I might choose to do this group. So just choose one of the two groups to do the graph for. You don't average, just choose one data set. For your graph, it's going to be called a scattergram. I want absorbance on the y-axis, concentration on the x-axis. So I'm going to highlight my absorption values. I'm then going to go to insert, and I have my graphs here. I want to pick the scattergram. And it produces a scatter plot. Now, if I actually told it to draw a line here, it would draw a line up and then down. That's not what we want. So don't do anything with the line yet. Another problem I have, I don't have units down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to this area. I'm going to right click it. Now for those of you with Macs, I believe it is option click. And I'm going to scroll down to select data. So I will. I have this screen. I am going to click on the series, and I am going to click edit. I'm going to edit two things: series name glucose, and I could put in my x values here. So I'm going to click on the x values, and there's redundancy in Excel. I could click on this if I really wanted to, but instead I'm just going to go over there, and it fills it in for me. And then I click OK. And voila, I have my X values as well. And then I click Enter. And as you notice, all the values got scrunched up right here. So I am going to try to make this graph wider before I copy it. And now the values are a little bit spaced out. Secondly, I want, these are my concentrations down here. I want more data points, so I'm going to go here. I am going to right click. Again, option click for the Mac users. Format axis. I want my major units to be 20, to be 20s, and my minor units to be Let's do tens. And I want the minor units inside. So now I have numbers every 10. It'll be easier for the next step. And again, let's make that as big as possible to try to separate those three dots that are right on top of each other. OK. Last thing you're going to do, you're going to label your axes. You have this nice thing up here. So scroll down. Actually, we don't need to scroll down. We'll pick that one. This is absorption. For my axis title here, it is. And my axis title here, I click on it. OK. So the next step you're going to do, copy your graph. 
I'm just clicking on so I've unselected my graph, come back, just click on it, select the whole graph, control C, come over here, control V. And again, try to make it as big as possible. Now, usually when we do this lab, we get awesome results. So this group right here had very good results. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come over to insert. I am going to do shape and I am going to pick line. And I'm going to put one end of my line here and I am going to go through my 100 point. Now, the good news for this group is all the points actually land on the line. That means we just proved Beer's Law. So there's when you're doing the next table, on when you're doing your table, you basically just put the concentrations from the graph are the same concentrations as Beer's Law. Now, let's say that there's a point outside. Let's say that one of my concentrations was 0.06. I mean, one of my absorbances was 0.06. I would scroll over here, I would scroll down, and I would find the concentration would be 200. So the last part of what I want you to do in case any of the dots are off is you go to the absorbance that you, you got from your spec 20 and you just scroll over and you find out where it hits. I hope you understand what to do. Thank you very much. Have a good day.